All right, hello everybody. My name is Robert Gerdung, and this is the uh, hybrid cryptographic scheme that I created using both RSA and Blowfish. And uh, I'm going to be doing an extended demo where I just kind of talk about the things that come to mind when I'm doing this. Uh, I did a PowerPoint presentation with a short demo, but this is just going to talk about the issues that I have with my code because I believe this is more of what you want. I'm going to be submitting both, but uh, I think this is more of what you want. Now, the biggest issue that I had with this project, uh, my biggest roadblock, actually this whole semester, was using CryptoPP. Uh, CryptoPP was probably my entire uh, stress for this class. The, this class was fairly great other than that. So uh, if you don't know, uh, you can use a thing called VCPKG to install uh, CryptoPP. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll find and download VCPKG and then you'll run the bootstrapper and then find the exe in your directory which will be in the same place as the bootstrapper. So you go to the command line windows, you run through, you go to the directory and then you just type in VCPKG install CryptoPP and it'll download and install it for you, build it, it'll run just fine, it'll test it, and everything will be great. And then to use it, you just type in vcpkg integrate install, and then it will uh, link it to your Visual Studio, and that'll be the end of that. Uh, the only thing you might need to do is go into the properties of every project you want to use it with, and include it under additional libraries. And uh, then you can just pound include it just like that. Oh scroll up real quick right there so uh, yeah that was the hard part for me anyway uh, then it came down to uh, you know just RSA and blowfish again blowfish that's fine um, so it came down to RSA and blowfish and uh, our professor covered RSA very very well so uh, it just came down to what is Blowfish, and uh, Blowfish is covered on Wikipedia. It's a publicly available uh, encryption service for the most part. Uh, it's just an algorithm that anybody can really research and use for their own uses. And uh, I think the hardest part about Blowfish was really understanding the key schedule, because the keys, not the keys, the uh, the boxes start with values of pi and you know that you can find those or you can generate them and it'll work just fine but uh, then the boxes will be replaced with a values generated from using blowfish uh, so when the values are replaced with by using Blowfish, I was a little confused because I like how do I generate things from Blowfish if I need to use Blowfish to use Blowfish? Just right over my head for a little bit, but uh, you know you figure it out eventually by just kind of reading it. it. It didn't take me too long, but it was just kind of a little bit of a head scratcher for me. But uh, I was really hoping I could find a visual representation of what, what what's happening here, right? But that's fine. Get there, run through it all, and uh, th the only way I could really do this was to build Blowfish using static numbers. So uh, to run and test that my Blowfish actually worst worked, I used the base values of pi in my uh, S box and P box and I just didn't do the key schedule and that was just to test that uh, the algorithm worked because you know you have to try things right you have to start somewhere so I start with the blowfish algorithm and then I work my way up and then uh, yeah um, then it came down to really working with integer.h and uh, moving things back and forth between uh, string uh, binary so it was like binary string and uh, integer. 
So working between uh, our binary string and our integer, I kind of just played around a lot with numbers and bits and uh, like converted things into an integer to or them or exclusive or them and then do modular addition and then go back and forth with that. And uh, that was probably the hardest part, really, uh, was the key schedule. After that, the rest of this was, you know, just a matter of understanding it. But uh, we're here at the end of the semester, and uh, I'm going to keep this relatively short because I did include a PowerPoint on both RSA and Blowfish. Um, the architecture of my code I'm going to write a paper about. So um, this was just kind of to show that, hey, this works, and I'm going to talk about what really the issue was. And this wasn't too hard given the uh, tools that I had all semester. So thank you for uh, a great semester, and I hope you have a great break.